All right, so we're going to put our fuel in there. Now what happens is when you burn saplings in the witch's oven, they have a chance of producing a fume. So we did. We got our whiff of magic out of that. Hello and welcome to another episode of Regrowth Reloaded. Okay, as you can see, I took down part of the wall here. So we have our area now extends out to the ocean and off to the side here. Um, I've decided I'm going to use this area over here for witchery, which we're going to be getting into a little bit today. Uh, but let's get started on a couple of things first. So let me start with um, going to make this Yeah, it's this one here. I'm gonna grab this um, gold, a key, and a drawer template. And we're going to build ourselves a key. Drawer key. And that's what it is. Let's see, let's come over to a table and do that. So it is one gold nugget, two gold, and, a, and an upgrade. It gives us a key. Now what this does is we can now lock these drawers and if we take the last item out, it will still hold that drawer for those items. It won't you know, completely empty the drawer. Let's go ahead and lock these. And you see it's kind of got that little lock symbol there. Let's do this real quick. I'll do the rest of them later. But there, that's our drawer key. Let me go ahead and put this in here. Next thing I want to do, grab some stuff here. Got a couple of pistons, some cobblestone, some iron, and a crafting table. And I want to craft an auto assembler. Okay, so it is, yeah, just like that. Let's go ahead and craft that. And boom. Now, what this is going to do, if I come downstairs here, I'll just kind of show you this real quick. If I can get down the stairs here. There we go. Alright. So, over here in the area where we've got our coal, I'm going to attach this to this barrel here that I put in, which has 64 stacks of this coal essence in it. And I'm going to put this down here. And then if we come into this, um, and then we're going to come back in here and we're going to put our recipe for our coal in here and it should draw the essence from the barrel just like that in order to make these so let's see is that set enabled always so it's gonna just make up coal for us and it's gonna fill this up so we can come in here and grab this. And this is gonna come in handy later on. Um, when, once we uh, do a little bit of automation, I'm going to, uh, I've got plans here as soon as I get redstone available um, on how we're going to automate um, collecting the coal, putting it in this uh, barrel crafting it up and then using it in uh, a variety of things. I've also kind of cleared out an area down here that we're going to be using, you know, to get under the farms to get to this stuff and an area here where I'm going to be putting in some uh, Batania stuff that we're going to be using to automate our farm. But we're not there yet. We have to have a little bit of redstone first. So we got our auto crafter. 
next thing I want to show you here is if we come back and we look, I put down the rest of these compacting drawers and you'll notice this one up here and this one's got bronze in it. Now, we did not craft seeds for bronze. Bronze is a combination of copper and tin. So I'm just going to do it this way real quick. So it's one copper, or no, three copper and one, is this 10? Yes. And one 10. And if we come over here, we can put these in here like this. And when they melt down, they will combine together and give us bronze. And we're going to be using bronze uh, for a couple of things in another episode. Probably the next one I want to uh, make myself um, uh, the um, lumber axe and probably the, um, the, the hammer that we're going to be using for mining. So this, this finished. Blah! I'm having trouble talking today. This is almost done here. The tin is melted. The copper gets melted too. And now you can see we have four ingots of molten bronze. And one thing you'll notice too is ingots do not double, only ores. It would get quite out of hand if uh, they did ingots. It would be quite OP. So let me go ahead and craft these up real quick, get them out of there. There we go, we got our four bronze. Go ahead and toss those in here. All right, it's getting to be night. Let me go ahead and sleep, and I'll be right back with you in just a moment. Okay, next thing on my list, and let's go into our book, and we're going to go to chapter three. Here, the way the world works. I'm going to come down here to something's brewing. Simple potions leave much to be desired, particularly due to how few you can carry at once. Perhaps using mana as a re reagent, you will allow a more refined brewing system to aid you. The first step would be to upgrade the brewing stand to be able to incorporate mana, as well as develop a mana-attuned equivalent to the simple glass bottles. So we're going to craft a botanical brewery and some mana glass vials. Let's go ahead and come in here and this is everything we need for our botanical brewery. So we have a brewing stand, six living rock, a rune of mana, and a block of mana steel. So let's see what it takes to craft that botanical brewery. Okay, there we go, and so we got that. So if we click this, now you watch, we're gonna lose that rune of mana, just like I said. If you craft it, you lose it. If you use it in the rune, runic altar, you get to keep it. So I'm going to put this down here for the time being. And then when we're ready to use it, we can just turn this to point at it um, and, and charge it up that way. Or we can actually probably move it over here instead. Yeah, there we go. All right, so next thing we want to do is we're going to craft mana glass vials. So we can look at the recipe and that is three pieces of mana glass. So to make mana glass, what? Well, we just take our mana, our regular glass and we come over to a mana pool, toss it in there and we have mana glass. Come over here and take our mana glass just like regular vials, we get that mana glass vials. Okay, oh, we got something else. Okay. So to create potions with new brewery, you'll need to first place a vial on the brewery, either by right click or by dropping it on. From there, place the ingredients on as well. For a simple potion of vigor, which will increase the power of. Uh, let's see which will increase the power of your strikes. You'll need some nether wart, blaze powder, and glowstone. Once everything is in place on the brewery, simply point a mana spreader at it or attach a spark and the mana will flow and process in them into a fresh potion. Okay, I do not have any uh, glowstone at the moment. 
So we cannot complete that part of the quest. I'm going to go ahead and put these over here. So we got most of that done. We'll come back after I get uh, go explore the nether a little bit, get some uh, ourselves some glowstone, and then uh, we can finish up that quest. All right, so let's uh, go into something else that we can do. So we're going to come into Chapter 5, What the World Enables. And I'm going to come over here to Pipe Dream. Carting items and fluids around manually is all well and good, but there has to be a better way to achieve it that simply isn't quite so involved. You think you might be able to construct some simple kinetic engines and some basic piping which can use the kinetic energy to move items from one place to another. They're fairly poorly constructed, but if you apply a pipe sealant, you should be able to to transport fluids too. So, now if you remember, we, we have already crafted wooden fluid pipes, and to do that I had to craft wooden transport pipes. So let me show you this real quick. And that is two planks of wood and some glass. Did I put this stuff in here for that? I did not, that is something else. So, let's come over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get two planks of wood and some glass, just like that. Here, here, and here, and those are, give us eight wooden kinetic pipes. All right, um, then we need cobblestone transport pipes. Uh, so let's do the same thing, and it uh, works pretty much the same way. We need to get some cobblestone, which I have over here, two cobblestone, and a piece of glass. Here, here, and here. That gives us our cobblestone, cobblestone transport pipes. And then we need to create a wooden engine. Let's take a look at that real quick. And that is three wood planks, a block of glass, a piston, and two wooden gears. So we have three blocks, a piston, piece of glass and then we have eight sticks here which we're going to turn into gears and that's really easy you just come in here you do this like that there's our two wooden gears get an advancement for that and then it was this 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 and these two here gives us a wooden engine and we got another achievement All right, let's see what our next crafting task on this is. Okay, so we did the wooden fluid pipes, and then it just wants to take cobblestone and turn those into fluid pipes as well. And I've got pipe sealant here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. We'll just take a piece of pipe sealant there. Like that, and like that. We only have to do one cobblestone fluid pipe. Like I made a wooden fluid pipe. I need pipe. I needed a cobblestone one. All right, let's do this again. But as you can see, that's how you do it. It works the same for both. So we'll take our cobblestone pipe, pipe sealant. And we've got our cobblestone fluid pipe. They're just uh, slightly different as to what they do um, uh, as far as how much or how fast the liquid or items move through them. So let's go ahead and claim our reward. We get some more pipe sealing on that. Okay. Next thing I want to do is this one up here. Not that kind of Coke. Coal is all and well. Coal is all well and good as a fuel, but building a coke oven will allow you to refine your coal into the more potent coke, albeit fairly slowly. Creosote oil is also produced in this process as a byproduct and is a sub substance important in the production of rails. So I've got to make a total of 26 coke oven bricks, and this is 
pretty simple. Um, we, we're not going to be using that one because I don't have sandy bricks. We're going to be using seared bricks and sand and that will give us one coke oven brick. So we have that here and here. All right, so let's come over here and let's do our coke oven brick. Like that, we're gonna select this one. And there, copy those in there. There we go, we got our 26. Okay. So the next thing it wants us to do is to get 16 coal coke. Now, I think we had some coal coke before, didn't we? Let me look over here. I probably not 16 of them. We do have 16 coal coke. Okay, let's go ahead and claim our reward. We got another 32 coal coke and a creosote, 16 bottles of creosote oil. All right, let me uh, get this stuff cleared away a little bit. I'm going to sleep real quick and I'll be right back with you. Okay, let's um, come over here. What I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my coke oven bricks here and I'm going to knock out part of this wall here and I'm going to go ahead and use this area to build our coke oven in. So it's going to be a three by three by three with a hole in the middle like we did with our water tank over there. All right, so let me go ahead and knock these punji sticks up real quick. Let's just use an ax on them. Okay, let's go ahead and one, two, three, there we go. Just like that. All right, so let's go ahead and lay down our Coke oven bricks like this. And then we have to leave a space in the middle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like this. And there we go, we have our Coke oven. Let me go ahead and grab some coal here. I'll make some more here in a little bit, but all you do is you come over here, you toss the coal in your coke oven, and this will turn slowly into coal coke. And then this side here is going to fill up with creosote oil, which is released from the coal as it's getting processed. And that'll be used later on. We'll probably make uh, some kind of a tank or something that uh, we'll pump the creosote oil into because we're going to be getting quite a bit of it out of this. So, last thing that I want to do here, let's see, is there anything else in there? No, okay. It's going to be in chapter 10. So let's come down here and that is called How the World Grows. And this is our beginning stuff for witchery. So first thing we need to do is come over here to the witching hour. Botanical magics are all well and good, but if you wish for a full recovery of nature, you'll need to delve into Wiccan rites. The first step for this is the construction of an oven for extract, extrication of various fumes. So we need to do this because we can't, get our redstone dust without some of these fumes. So like if I come in here and we do redstone seeds, if we take a look at the recipe for those, you see it's, you know, strong essence, runa mana, red dye, a button, and a whiff of magic. Well, you got to get the whiff of magic from a, from a witch's oven. So we've got to build this witch's oven first. So come back in here let's take a look at this and this is five iron and a two iron bars so we have our five iron and our two iron bars so we just do this 
here and here we've got our witch's oven and the next thing we need to do are make soft clay jars and let's take a look at that and that is four pieces of clay in here just craft these real quick just like this there we go and then the next thing we got to do is we're going to have to make clay jars needs 16 of them to deck uh, yeah i think it did let's come over here yeah no i only gave us four so i need a total of 16. One, eight, twelve. Yeah. all right so let me break this apart can i of course i can i just got to put them down and then hit them with the shovel And there's my shovel. That should give me the 12 that I need. Okay, so I'll give me 16 soft clay jars. So let me get these fired up and this is gonna turn them into regular clay jars here. And as soon as that's ready, I'll be right back with you. Okay, we've got our 16 clay jars. Let's go ahead and grab those real quick. Let's take a look in our quest book and that's at 100%. And let's see, we get uh, some oak, some spruce, some birch sapling, we get more clay jars and then we get to pick either a rowan, an alder, or a hawthorn. I'm gonna go ahead and choose rowan. And there we go. So let's take a look what is the next piece of this we're gonna to have to do some um oh we got this too wicked shrubbery there are a few unusual plants that you're encountering while using mutandus it might be worth retaining a sample of them in the case they come in handy for the future so we already made shears earlier um and uh then we've already collected glint weed and ember moss and spanish moss we did that a while ago let me go ahead and I'm going to claim Hawthorne. And it gives us some mushrooms. All right, let's see what else we got here. So that's some poppet stuff. So this will be probably the next one that we're going to do. Um, let me see. It'll, it'll be in the next episode. Um, I'm running short on time here. So let's go ahead and get this put down and at least get it in place um, and I can kind of explain how this works so we're gonna put our oven down here and then there's gonna be some fume filters that we're gonna build there's gonna be one on each side and one on the top and those help the oven to to capture the fumes that it needs so we're gonna come in here we're gonna put some clay jars inside of here and I'm going to go ahead and let's see if we put that in there I need some fuel which I did not grab all right so we're gonna put our fuel in there now what happens is when you burn saplings in the witch's oven they have a chance of producing a fume so we did we got our whiff of magic out of that and we also got some wood ash um, different types of um, saplings produce different results let's go ahead and put the hawthorn in there see if we get anything out of that nope just some wood ash let's try the spruce but the whiff of magic is the thing that we needed nope just some more wood ash let's try oak now, the fume funnels that we're going to be building in the next episode help this process. It, it gives us a much better chance of actually capturing fumes and not just creating ash. So let's go ahead and put the birch in there real quick, see if we have any luck with that. And no, but we did get our whiff of magic. So in the next episode, 
we're going to be working on getting redstone seeds going. Um, and then we're going to uh, build up our witch's oven. I do want to make the tools that we need. I desperately want a, a, um, a lumber axe because we're going to have to be growing some of these trees, um, getting some more uh, saplings so that we can do it in there. And the problem with these three here, the three magical ones from witchery, um, when you cut these down, there's a percentage of a chance that an ant is going to appear and attack you. So we just got to be a little bit careful while we're um, dealing with with these uh, three in particular, um, but they are absolutely necessary for what we need to do. Okay, well, that's all I've got time for today to, to do anything, and we got everything on our list. Uh, we do want to get that brew going over there. Um, I, I do have to get some glowstone in order to do that, though. Um, and, you know, but we, we did everything we wanted to do. We got a drawer key. We crafted an auto assembler. I showed you how those work. I showed you how to make bronze. We um, crafted our brewing station uh, botanical brewery. We did uh, the pipes that we need for things going forward. We create, created our Coke oven. Um, and we uh, built our witch's oven and we were able to get our whiff of magic that we need for our redstone uh, in the next episode. So until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye. Goodbye.